We are here for one reason and one reason only. The Puffins. We're gonna see them, admire them, watch them from afar, maybe get a sneak peek. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. We finished our time in the Faroe Islands and let's just say we liked it a lot. But you can subscribe to our channel for those videos. This one's for Iceland. All right, we are in the Highlands. Look, we're driving on a dirt road. Today we're gonna go and find some hot springs. Who goes to a hot springs at 10 o'clock in the morning? Us. Uh, I see a bunch of cars. We're not by ourselves. Okay, so we just got to the hot springs. We're here early in the morning. It's like 9.45, it opens at nine. So we're gonna go jump in. We already have our bathing suits on because we're thinking ahead. And I think it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna get in. Okay, so we came down here. There are three pools. This one, as you can see, they're all about one and a half, two feet deep. And it's just really beautiful. This is natural water. It's warm. Don't drink it. <laughs> We're making you soup, okay. so we need it. Icelandic soup, please. Okay, there's no places to change, so don't be like us and not even bring towels. <laughs> Luckily in August it's not freezing, so that's cool. Megan? Yeah? You got dressed? Yeah. How did you do that? Just some old camping tricks. <laughs> Dry. Let's go see some more stuff. Baby, time to go. I don't want to. So this weather, we're here at the end of October. August, basically September tomorrow, and I just expected that it would be much colder, and I'm sure if you're by the coast, it's going to be colder, in your mountains, yada yada, I know. But today, right now, I'm comfortable in just my crew neck sweater and jeans. What a treat. You know what else is a treat? Me pulling all our luggage with heavy jackets and heavy boots. What a treat. We're going to quick lunch at the guys in the visitor center and then we're going to go see the guys there. What are you eating, Livy? Fish fries and chicken and ketchup. What are you eating? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> These kids gotta drag him to go appreciate some beauty. You're so dumb. <laughs> Welcome to Golfos. Last time we were here, the year was 2017. And look how big this baby has grown. Yeah! Yeah! I'm six and a half. <laughs> Meg, this is this is definitely a hidden gem of Iceland. If you want to get away from the crowds, yeah, there's and no one here. Find you a secret spot. This is it. This is it. There's this is untouched. Untouched. This was like, as they say, Iceland from like 30 years ago. But also, popular places are popular for a reason. So I'm not throwing any shade because where the people go, I'm gonna go. Don't mind me, just uh, stopping on the side of the road because horses are just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, no snacks. No, no snacks. Hey, stop it. Stop it, you. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in the year of the horse on the Chinese zodiac calendar, so I don't want to say I have a special connection with horses, but 
I think I do. <laughs> Not to brag. Don't want to brag. Good morning from the local in-ground trampoline. We're letting the girls jump while we drink a latte, and then we're doing something exciting. We're going on the ferry to the Westman Islands. Do you even know what that is? I don't. Come and plan this part of the trip, but I'm super excited. I've heard that they're beautiful. Word on the street is there might still be some puffins there, so we're just going to check it out and spend the next day exploring the Westman Islands. We pulled over because this view is epic. Just look. All right, I just got an email that tonight we're getting a huge storm starting at 9 p.m. to tomorrow. Hope we can make our ferry home tomorrow. So we're supposed to get really crazy winds and a lot of rain and apparently kids can't open car doors by themselves. That was a weird addition to the email. This boat just left and it is rocky. Good thing I have my trusty Naja bands. Um, we're driving to the lookout point and I already saw puffins flying around. It's gonna be a while. I thought they wouldn't be here. I was kind of sad. Caleb. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. always be one of my favorite things. I can't believe that we just stumbled upon thousands of puffins. Like my heart is so full. This is the best day ever. We've all cried. Liz said, mom, I'm literally crying. It's just incredible. I'm so thankful. Probably, I can't talk, my, my, my face is numb in the wind. I'm coming, my lips are like, blah, blah, blah. All I'm trying to say is there's not a lot of people here. I don't know where they all are. The ferry was full. They all were carrying huge lenses. So I don't know where they are, but we got to watch the largest puffin colony all to ourselves, pretty much. Now we're gonna go eat and warm up because I think the storm's coming. Hey, Colin, what emotion do you feel? I think I'm just surprised that such a magic, magical experience was there was no fees, no one's like charging you money to have this experience, this magic. I mean, of course you gotta fly to Iceland, take a ferry, having a car is nice, all that. But once you get to the islands, you, you, it's just here. And you just go, you walk, you sit in the grass and you get to see these beautiful animals in front of you. So, I'm just surprised that such a place still exists. And I'm so happy that we're here. We're gonna spend the night here, but we just got an email from the fairies that if you can leave the island, leave. We do not have a place to stay tonight. We're gonna have to figure it out. 
We may not be able to leave tomorrow morning. They may detour us to go to an, a harbor like three hours from the harbor that we're supposed to go to. The boat was a rockin'. So Colin just went to go see if we could change our tickets and actually leave in like an hour. We've done so much here today. We've seen so many puffins, which was ultimately why we came. And we'd just rather be back on mainland for this storm so we're not stuck out here for longer than we anticipated. All right, I switched our tickets again. We're leaving at five. I was like, should I wait till tomorrow? She goes, nope, you should go. I was like, okay, we're leaving. <laughs> on the place, everything starts at $1,000 a night. I found this cottage out in the boonies for 200. I mean, it looks clean. So we're going with it, right, Meg? Yeah, we're pivoting. pivoting. We don't want to be stuck here. <laughs> Naja bands are back. We're on land. All right, Meg. Oh my gosh, these waves. Okay, so this is known as Iceland's deadliest beach because there are sneaker waves that happen. But in addition to sneaker waves, there was a huge storm here in Iceland last night. So these waves are massive and we will not be getting close to the water at all. <laughs> um, this is another hidden gem of Iceland. sure if today would be a rainy day or not and I think the weather's probably gonna change again but for now we're embracing the Sun we always say that we should literally move to a beach because wherever there are rocks and sand they're like the happiest kids in the world I mean they're they're done they could be here for the day and not even care about us anymore it's the best Back. Hop it. Time for lunch. So after the beach, we stop by this town. This town is called Vik. It's like the hub for where you can get food here in South Iceland before you commit to driving up north to the ice lagoons and all that. So we're headed back to Reykjavik tonight, but you can see the sea stacks on the top of this hill, great groceries, lots of different cool glamping sites. There's even the food truck selling crepes. I mean, it's a good stop. Now we're gonna make our way back and just drive as slow as we want, make as many stops as we want. All right, we are still on our drive back from Vic, and this is, if not the most popular waterfall in Iceland. Don't tell anyone about this spot. This is just a secret for our audience on YouTube only. This is called Skogafoss. Just from us to you, you're welcome to Hidden Gems Tour. It's a beautiful rainbow, look at that. I 
think this is my favorite spot in Iceland. Something about the scale, it's just beautiful. I could spend a long time here, especially if they had like a coffee situation. We need to get on that. I need coffee by the waterfall ASAP. Show me your ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. It's been a long day. We're having ice cream for dinner. We'll probably eat something later, but so far, this just feels right.